It was September, and the last days when things are getting sad for no reason. The beach was so long and lonely, with only about six people on it. The kids quit bouncing the ball because somehow the wind made them sad too, whistling the way it did. And the kids sat down and felt autumn come along the endless shore. Hello and welcome to Creatively Torn, a channel where I mostly talk about books but sometimes don't. And occasionally I do a book review, and this is one of those times. Uh, so I recently read The October Country by Ray Bradbury, uh, this little book here. I thought I would talk about it a little bit. Uh, so just some background, uh, Ray Bradbury is one of my top five favorite authors. I discovered him last year when I really got back into reading. Uh, and read Fahrenheit 451 and The Martian Chronicles and Dandelion Wine and Something Wicked This Way Comes. And so I've been trying to get through all of his work. And my latest book that I have read from him is The October Country. This is a book of short stories. Some of them were previously published in different collections. And then some of them have been taken out and different ones put in in different versions of the book. Uh, but this is the, this is a Del Rey mass market version from, I believe in the 90s. So I think it has 19 stories in this one. Uh, includes a foreword by Bradbury uh, in, in the 1990s called May I Die Before My Voices. Uh, that was written in the 90s by Ray Bradbury. Uh, so let's start things off with the edition that I have. So this is a mass market. It's a very tiny book. Uh, it's illustrated by Joseph Mugniani, Mugnani, something like that. Uh, it has a few illustrations in here, which are pretty cool, uh, especially since you don't get a lot of those on mass market books. The cover looks really nice too. Um, everything looks really cool with the cover artwork. Uh, the book itself is very annoying to read. It's got very small margins, so um, you really gotta push the book open to, to read some of it. So that was very frustrating. But anyways, about the book itself. Uh, so I haven't read all of his short story collections yet. Um, the ones I have read have been more, more or less combined into, into an overall story, such as The Martian Chronicles and Dandelion Wine. I were the chapters are separately their own little story, but they're all um, built up to a larger narrative. So this is one, the first one that I've read that's really a whole um, reach uh, story is, is its own real, is its own thing really. Uh, I'm not sure if that has any effect on the overall feeling of the book for me, but it is worth noting. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not my favorite of his works so far. I found this one to be very mediocre. Uh, there were a few really good stories in here, but most of them were uh, okay. Then there are a few that I just didn't like at all. Uh, it's probably just personal preference, as I don't think any of them are object objectively bad. Uh, but some are more generic than others. And there's just something about the tone of this book that I didn't quite um, buy into. Um, so there's books like Dandelion Wine where he's uh, really relishing the the feelings of uh, childhood uh, through the eyes of a uh, of children, so it's a very sweet and very innocent uh, story. Then there's uh, parts of the Martian Chronicles where it's very haunting and poetic and deep. This one, I feel like most of the stories were kind of in between, where they're kind of whimsical, kind of um, kind of quirky, um, but very dark still so I, something about that just did not work for me at all it seemed a lot like uh watching twilight zone but like on the disney channel maybe not not that extreme i've always been a, a big proponent of bradbury's prose and his writing style uh but i think this one is one of his weaker entries everything is still written very well but it's not quite as polished as some of his, of his other stuff in this, book especially, in this book especially, he uses a lot of repetition. So it does get a little bit annoying. 
and overall I think it's just not as strong as work. Uh, but like I said, these stories are kind of a mix. There's some good, there's some bad. Uh, I'd say the ones that I liked the most were The Lake, which is by far my favorite, and maybe one, one of my favorites of his stories as a whole. Uh, the Emissary, which is really good. The Small Assassin, the Scythe. The Wonderful Death of Dudley Stone was okay. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of ones that were just kind of mediocre to me. I uh, didn't really hit. Didn't really hit in any way. Some I just found it really annoying. Like um, what's this one? There was an old woman. I think is what it's called. It's about an old lady. It's, it's very annoying. I don't know. I just very very annoying uh, character. I thought. So as it is a short story collection, it is hard to rate. Um, as they all vary in quality and tone and everything. Uh, so as a collection, it's not my favorite. I wouldn't recommend reading the whole thing to casual readers. Uh, if you want to, you might like them, I don't know. Uh, but I would recommend cherry picking this one at least. Unless you're a Bradbury diehard like me. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the short stories though. Uh, the, let's see, the scythe. It was really good. It's a very interesting little short story that reminded me of Stephen King in a lot of ways. I know Stephen King is a big Ray Bradbury fan, so I'd be shocked if he hadn't read this short story at some time uh, and let it influence his work later on down the line. Horror-inspired story, very dark, but also very grounded in the characters. Uh, so that the horror really comes from experiences of the characters and what they have to go through and how the effects and how the uh, plot of the story affects their lives so that's really interesting another one that I really liked was the emissary uh, which again deals a lot with characters and the let's see how can I explain this without it really can't talk about the stories that much as they're so short and talking about them will ruin the, the story for you. But the emissary is about a young boy who is bedridden and has to uh, invite people to come over to his house by using his pet, uh, his pet dog. Um, so that is the crux of the story then you know the plot kind of happens after that. Um, another one that I liked was the small assassin which deals with um, motherhood and uh, what's, the, what's the word? Um, po post, uh, postpartum depression, uh, I think is the, kind of the basis for the story. Uh, so again, very dark story, very dark ending. Uh, that's all I can say about that one. And then the lake, which is just a very haunting uh, story about loss and childhood. Uh, has some really beautiful passages in that one. Uh, I think it's right up there with Usher 2. It was one of my favorite Ray Bradbury short stories so far. Uh, so I do recommend that one at least, um, at the very least, if you want to read anything from this collection. That's really all I have to say. Uh, just a really informal review, whatever. But, in the end I gave this one a 3 out of 5 as a whole. I didn't really like it, but it's not worth a 2. Uh, so it's kind of in the middle there. Uh, like I said, I do recommend some of the things in this collection, but not all of them. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and...